All right, in this tutorial, we're going to set up FileZilla, which is the FTP program you're going to need to add images to the website. So you can go to Google and just Google FileZilla and you'll come up to this site right here, right in the middle, download FileZilla client. So just download and install it. It's not really that complicated. Once you get that done, go ahead and open up FileZilla. Uh, this is what mine looks like. Yours should be similar up in the top left. You can click on these little server icons and you want to go down here and click on new site. And you can see on my FTP it already exists right here, tropicalpoolsandpavers.com. So click on new site and I'll just set up a test one. You'll see, just name it. Over here on the right hand side you need to fill in the host which is your domain name. And I'll show you mine already. Click on got to delete that one. Let me go. There we go. So right up here is your domain name, username, and the password is the same password you have to get into uh, cPanel. Um, it's a pretty complicated one. So I, I think you have it. So after you get that done, go ahead and hit connect. And it should connect. Uh, if it doesn't, then you've got something wrong. If one letter is off and any of that stuff, it won't work. So on the right hand side you'll see a bunch of files pop up, that's your server, go into uh, public underscore HTML and then from there go to images, stories, and then gallery. Now if you'd like the pictures to show up on the existing gallery you'll need to put them in gallery number three, you can see that right here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you just how to make a new gallery too. So right click create directory and I'll call it five you can name these whatever you want and at some point if you're going to divide up the pictures you may want to give them more specific names like pool and spa and remodel and things like that so go ahead and double click on your new gallery and you'll see it's empty on the left hand side of FileZilla is your computer here's where you're going to want to browse to the images on your computer um, you should have some files on the left hand side and that's where you're going to start. I've already browsed to some images on my computer so I'm just going to drag and drop. Once you get to the directory where your images are that you want to add, select them all and drop them over on the right side. You'll see at the bottom they start to download onto the server. That's all you have to do from the back end of FileZilla. The next step will be going into Joomla and, and telling it to display these sites, these pictures. So log into the back of your Joomla, it's tropicalpoolsandpavers.com forward slash administrator and then from there you're going to want to go to article manager log in again content article manager and you'll see a list of the articles that are on your site we're going to go new and I'm just going to name this one gallery 2 because we have one gallery already. So type in the title gallery 2 and then hit uncategorize for the section. So I'm just going to put test in there now and hit save. So that creates the gallery, the article for us that we need to add images to. So here's how we're going to get those images. If you scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see one just called gallery. Go ahead and click on that, open it up. Now right here you'll see this this bit of code. That's what you're going to want to copy and put into the new gallery. And yours may look like this when it comes out. And that's fine. Just go up to the top left and hit show hide to take away the editor so you get just the code. So go ahead and copy that code. Close out of that article. We don't want to do anything to that. Go back up to gallery 2 that you just created. Open that one up and paste that code right there. Now you see in the very top line of this code it says gallery and then three and then close gallery. Well we just created in FileZilla gallery number five and that's where I added some dummy images. So let's change this to category five so we can see if it's gonna work. Go ahead and hit save. So now the article is in your Drupal website but the website 
the front end of the website doesn't know it needs to display it. We're going to add it to your gallery menu. So if you highlight over gallery now, you'll see I made some changes. You can't click on either of these now. It makes you go down to the list we're going to create. I created the first one, pool and spa gallery number one. So let's go find that and create a number two. To find that, we want to go to menus and then main menu. Here's the main menu. You can scroll down and you'll see gallery. You'll see a sub, pool and spa construction, and then the sub that actually displays is pool and spa gallery number one. So what I'm going to do is just make a number two. So I scroll back up here and click on new. From here you're going to need to select what type of menu you're setting up. Set, click on articles, article layout, and there you are. Go ahead and put your title in. So I'm going to do number two. Copy and paste. And put that in the alias as well. It's good to keep a lot of keywords in this title. If you can do that, that would be helpful for you with uh, search engine optimization. Next thing we need to do is assign this menu item to the article we just created. On the right hand side, you'll see a little box that lets you select the articles. Here's the one we just created, gallery number two. Okay, that should be it. We'll go ahead and hit save. Let's go to the back end and refresh. Okay, you see it showed up right here in the middle. That's not where we want it. So what do we do? Well, we didn't add it as a sub item to gallery, sub, pool, and spa construction sub. So I'm going to scroll to the second page of options here, or select so we can at least see them all and find it. Here it is right here, Pool and Spa Gallery 2. It needs to be up here. So let's open it back up and select from this drop-down menu right here where the parent item is. The parent item is Pool and Spa Construction. Therefore, it'll show up as a sub of that parent. Go ahead and hit Save. Go back to the front end, refresh. Okay, pool and spa gallery number one, pool and spa gallery number two. That's pretty much it. Let's see if it worked. Alrighty, there's the dummy images I added. They work. That's all there is to it. It's very simple.